Shabbat. Raj says, what is the ruling to repeat the adhan if the masjid uses recorded adhan? Should we still uh, uh, say the dua after the adhan uh, for that? So Raj is asking about a scenario that is taking place in some masjids around the world. And that is, they do not let a person call the adhan. The adhan is the call for prayer. So what you, when you hear the man saying through loudspeakers, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, this is called the adhan. And this shows you and is a sign and signifies to you and informs you that the time of prayer has begun. So he's asking about in some places, instead of a living person calling the adhan, they bring a tape recorder and on time, they just simply play it. Like in airports, in some hotels, in some malls. So he says, would we be recommended to repeat? Why would we repeat? Because the Prophet told us, salam, that whenever you hear the adhan, you repeat after the mu'adhan, whatever he says, you, you say Allahu Akbar, you say Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah, you repeat that. Hayya ala salat, hayya ala al falah, you say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah four times. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, etc. to the end. And then you offer salutation to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and ask Allah for him the wasila which is a status and a level in Jannah that is only uh, um, allowed for one person to be there. And the Prophet says, I wish and hope that I'm the one and he's the one, without any doubt in that. So the Prophet told us whoever does this would gain his intercession, his shafa'ah. So Raj is saying, if I hear the adhan being called from a recorder, from a cassette, so should I say it? The answer is no. Because the sunnah is to repeat after an adhan that is being live, that is being recited by a human being who is inst uh, uh, doing it live. Recorded one does not give you any reward. And this practice should be uh, abolished, should be stopped. Adhan has to be called by a person because in few years time I would not yani, doubt I would not be amazed if I see in some of these new tech masjids who have a new religion other than Islam you, you go to Germany you find a masjid led by a woman and it's for homosexuals for transgenders for uh, uh, criminals, whatever, any uh, uh, thing that comes, and they say this is a masjid. You go to another masjid in another country and say this is a gay Muslim masjid. What is this? Tomorrow they're going to, to have rapist masjids, for example. This is not part of Islam. So I would not suspect that maybe in a few years' time you'll go to a masjid in uh, uh, this European country where they have a robot new advanced from uh, from Japan and he leads a prayer and wow a Sudes is reciting or a Shreem is reciting and the uh, uh, the robot is doing the prayer and people behind him this saves money saves time um, uh, reduces errors you don't have to do sujood al saho what kind of a religion are these people playing with so definitely what's taking place is not part of the sunnah.